to our Scottish American block or the Scots block. Um, so the first building I'm going to talk about is the Scottish American Club, which is supposed to be this one. It doesn't really look like a club, but that's okay. Um, it's open to all Scottish Americans, but um, anyone who's interested in learning about our culture is welcome to join. Um, our goal is basically to establish Scottish ties um, to the culture um, all over the world in America and Scotland. And it's only $15 for a yearly membership, and that includes um, admittance to our parades, um, events, and conferences that we have. Um, so the symbols that we use um, in our block is mostly the Scottish flag. You can see it, I think, on almost every one of these. Um, and then we use St. Andrew's Day. It's like, it's a certain flag, but you'll see that in the rec center um, slide. And then that is the symbol of the Church of Scotland um, because religion is a very important part of their culture. And we actually have a, um, a church here and most of the people there are either Presbyterian or Christian. All right, and next you can walk down the street to our Scott's Corner restaurant, which is gonna be right here, with the little bench and table and everything out in front. Um, we have very authentic Scottish food there. One of our most popular appetizers is actually going to be Scottish eggs. Um, it's essentially a hard-boiled egg that's then coated in sausage, which is then breaded and fried, and can be served with a side of cheese or pickled eggs. Um, and then also our, probably our most popular drink is going to be our iron brew. It's a very orange drink, might look like Fanta, but it actually has hints of clove in it, so it's going to have a little bit of a spice to it. Um, it's actually the most popular drink behind whiskey in Scotland. But if you do like your drink a little bit stronger, we do have Jambouille liqueur, which is like a honey scotch liqueur. Um, you can have it chilled over ice, or if you're more of a cocktail drinker, you can have it fresco with grapefruit juice, or with a whiskey sour kind of feel. Um, next we do have our number one entree, is gonna be our roast beef dinner. Most Scottish enjoy this on a Sunday night evening, or Sunday evening. Um, it's gonna be a slow roasted beef, served with a mixture of peas and carrots on the side, and a Yorkshire pudding. No, it's not actually a pudding, so it kind of sound weird. Yorkshire pudding is going to be either kind of like a roll. Um, it is hollow in the middle, middle, though, so if they want to put their veggies and meat inside of it and then eat it like that, they are more than welcome to. Um, but we do serve that every night, so you don't have to only have it on Sunday meal like the Scottish. Um, next, after that, you can go down to our rec center. Um, here, you can actually work off some of that food. We have a full gym, and then we also have a training facility in the back for our Highland Games. Um, where you can do any of the stone lifts, you can do the lumber throws, anything like that. But we also do have bagpipe lessons, dancing lessons. Um, we do also have community events. So whenever there is St. Andrew's Day or Tartan Day, you can come down and we'll be more than happy to welcome you to our celebration. You don't have to be Scottish to come. Um, we're welcoming to everyone. Anyone who wants to learn more about the Scottish culture, we'll feel free to have classes for you. We even have cooking classes. So if you want to learn some of these Scottish meals, you're more than welcome to join us. And if you want to get a little bit more history about the Scottish, you can go down to our museum. Awesome. Okay, so when you're walking down Grove Street and you walk into the museum, which is this building right here, you're gonna be greeted by bagpipes, which is the Scottish, I guess, like the national instrument that they use at the Highland Games. They use it at like many special events, which is right there in the bottom. Um, and then also, uh, when you're in the museum, you're gonna see a lot of different things that you don't experience in American culture. Um, the first things are the ancient artifacts and treasures. So in the top right corner here is the stone jade axe, which actually isn't used as an axe in to cut wood or to like hurt someone, but it's actually used to show like prestige in the house for a man. If you like you have one that takes a while to like make, then you actually like have power when people uh, notice you. And then this is just from a vessel. There's like some, oh, sorry. there's uh, sunken ships and stuff. So there's all these different artifacts that you can find in the bottom of um, lakes and stuff. And there's a, a really interesting myths and folklore in the Scottish culture. Um, this is Nessie, or the Loch Ness Monster. You find her or him in Scooby-Doo. But there's an English um, journal journalist that took a picture of her in 1913 um, that he showed everyone and no one believes, but some people do believe it because they find all these sightings of Nessie, but actually people don't really believe it. Um, some traditions, um, there's golf, which is really important in the Scottish culture that I read about, um, and then also um, the holiday celebrations. You heard about the St. Andrew's Day, which is on November 30th, where they celebrate St. Andrews and to kick off the holiday season of December. And then they also celebrate Christmas, just like any other um, uh, religious country that is Christian. And then um, Scottish lifestyles, their clothing, they wear kilts. Um, you can see that all the guys are wearing them, and then the girls wearing like a 
plaid kind of dress, and then music's just like the bagpipe music that you hear uh, everywhere. And then that's where you can go to the gift shop after, which is the Scottish Experience Shop. So there's antiques like the jade um, axe that we talked about, you can get a little miniature one, so you have like some power in your life. And then there's also jewelry, which is probably really cheap, but you can also get that easily, look like a Scottish um, native. You can make your own kilt, which is super awesome because everyone needs a good kilt. Um, and then they also have flags for sale. And they also have the St. Andrew's flag, and then they have this, like, I don't know what it is. It's a yellow and red dragon flag. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. Um, so then there's also holiday posters where you can say, get your kilt. Uh, it's St. Andrew's Day, which is, you can wear that on St. Andrew's Day to celebrate. Uh, there's golf sets, books and CDs to listen to, to read about the folklores, like selfies or kelpies. kelpies. Or there's CDs of bagpipe music, so you can celebrate at home when you're doing stuff all around your house. And then there's also food um, after we experience from Alley's slide. But they also have really good candies like macaroons and like Scottish fudge that they sell. So we also have that. And that concludes our uh, gift shop experience. All right, next we have a Scottish market, which we sell haggis, which is actually a goat pudding, which has um, goat, it has grains, it has vegetable meat as well as they have shortbreads, which are really good little cookies, as well as we have Mars bars, deep fried Mars bars. So they're uh, like a chocolate caramel candy bar, deep fried, you know, because it's really healthy. And as well as porridge, which is similar to um, oatmeal, but it has a variety of grains instead of just one sort of grain. They also had a lot of seafood and they ate a lot of beef, salmon, a lot of smoked and salted foods. Um, salted foods tend to last longer. As well, um, next we have the uh, Church of Scotland, which originally was Catholic, but then they changed to uh, Presbyterian Christian. And this is just a rundown old uh, Catholic church. And then it morphed into more of a Gothic style, which is more big and grand. And you can see they kind of have like spines coming down. It kind of looks something from like a haunted house or like a cool movie. And then this is what you would see modern over in Scotland as well as over here. And then uh, today, this is what the Presbyterian churches look like. And then this is the church that we built. It is blue for the Scottish flag. Um, everything is of the Scottish colors. And then this 